And with their final pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the 227th pick, the Chicago Bears add more talent, add more depth to their offensive line. They select Lachavia Simmons from Middle Tennessee State. What is up, guys? I'm back with another Bears offseason reaction video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Bears. Okay, I'm, I'm just not going to say that anymore. You're probably sick of hearing it for the fifth time today, but definitely do subscribe if you enjoy my content. But guys... The Bears added more talent to their offensive line. They go back to back with offensive line picks, which I was really happy about because I was wondering when is Ryan Pace going to attack this damn position, okay? It was not great last year. We needed more depth. We needed more competition, but he did attack this position a lot later than I would have personally done it. I would have liked to have a more elite, safer prospect, but again, Ryan Pace did get tremendous value with his early picks, so I'm not going to hate too much, and he did still fill positions of need for us in other areas but if you take a look at this guy man Lachavia Simmons first of all I love that name okay Lachavia Simmons and Arlington Hambright too I mean we take guys back to back with pretty interesting names um but man this guy he's from a really small school from a school that doesn't face any good competition at all but if you watch his tape man he thoroughly dominated you know every single team that he played against Obviously, you would hope for that given that he's being drafted into the NFL against some of the best competition in the entire world. But, man, I just really love what I saw so far, okay? He has overwhelming strength, really, against the people that he played against. He has this nasty field demeanor. He has this nasty sort of, like, attitude towards a game that we desperately need on this offensive line, okay? He brings that swagger, that aggressiveness, that really competitive mentality that I feel like, again, we're missing from the rest of our offensive linemen. He has pretty strong hands. He has a lot of raw power in his upper body. And if you look at his strength, man, he has enough strength to really pancake defenders and seal off these running lanes for his teammates. Okay, he's created a lot of running lanes for his running backs for um, you know, at the second level as well. He can move beyond the first level to the second level and get to these linebackers because he is pretty fast as well. He's a pretty good athlete. And I just like the high motor that he plays with as well. I talked about his nastiness, man. He really wants to dominate, maul his opposition, which again is a perfect fit in a zone-blocking run scheme. So I think that Ryan Pace with this pick, he really tried to get the best player that could fit Juan Castillo's scheme. And I'm seeing a theme with the last pick as well. Both these guys in a zone-blocking run scheme at their best are going to be absolute monsters if they pan out. This guy is really versatile as well. He started every single position on the O-line besides center, so... If you want to put this guy at guard, you can. If you want to put him at tackle, you know, once he has more experience, you can do that as well. So he, he just provides so much value as a depth piece for the Chicago Bears. I mean, if you can play both tackle and guard, that's a backup that you really want to have. So again, he was a four-year starter at college at Tennessee State. He was first team all Ohio Valley Conference um, in 2019. So he had a lot of success last year. Uh, started every single game, I believe, at tackle. Yeah, all 12 games of tackle he started at 2019. And also, you know, the average um, yards that his offense actually got was 400 yards per game. So he was part of an offense that was just freaking amazing, okay? They were just completely dominating their opposition. And this guy also played in the Hula Bowl in the All-Star game. So, man, if you compare him to his peers, he was on another level. He clearly showed that he probably does have a home in the NFL because playing against the people that he was playing against, he was just a man amongst boys. And guys, something to take into account, the last Tennessee State player that the Bears drafted was Richard Dent, okay? So that's some pretty good company to be with. Obviously, it doesn't really mean anything, but I'm just saying that these smaller school prospects, they can turn out to be absolute studs, okay? Because people overlook them. People think that because of certain stuff that they can't control, they're not that good. But if you actually work at it, if you want to be the best, you absolutely can. And Richard Dent, obviously, he's proven that. So... I honestly have a lot of high hopes for this guy. He has a ton of potential. He's going to have to learn with Juan Castillo, you know, in the system, how to be a better player, um, refine his technique as well. But this guy at his best man, he's going to be a freaking monster on this offensive line. An excellent pick by Ryan Pace. If this guy actually lives up to his potential, you know, this is going to be an absolute steal by Ryan Pace for years to come. So let me know what you guys think about this pick in the comments down below. But for the last time today, as always, Bear down. <laughs> <laughs>